Good morning, family, friends, faculty, staff, and graduates. On behalf of the Grady College Class of 2015, thank you all for joining us to commemorate our completion of four or five years as Grady College students and to celebrate or mourn our entrance into the real world of journalism, advertising, PR, broadcasting, filmmaking, or any other fields we may land in. That's not to say that the journalism building hasn't given us a nearly lethal dose of the real world. Have you been in that place? The elevator's on the outside and doesn't reach every floor. There are at least three different ground level entry points. I dropped a class freshman year because I gave up on trying to find the classroom. Is there a LinkedIn endorsement for navigational skills? I think we all deserve one. Once we found our way in, we acquired the knowledge and skills necessary to excel as communicators, implementing and sharpening them through real-life work with partner companies on local, regional, and national levels, as well as right here at UGA. I think that one real-world challenge we faced at Grady in particular, however, offers the most comprehensive look at the students and now professionals we've become. Everyone loves free food. We thrive off of it. It's the universal motivator, proven through both research and practice to be the most reliable, interest-peaking tactic. So, when rumors flew at the beginning of the semester that someone was giving away cookies at the crosswalk between the MLC and Grady, we began digging for answers, namely, how and why we could get some of our own. It turns out that the UGA Office of Sustainability had developed a reward system for those who look both ways at major crosswalks. A serious problem on a campus filled with the most meticulous students, yet the most barbaric pedestrians. <laughs> if a safety guard observed you following the rules, you would get a cookie. Simple enough, right? It seemed that way at first. Everyone was scrupulously careful to obey, and most were rewarded for doing so. Over time, however, the cookies became scarcer and scarcer. I suppose the office didn't realize that they'd be dealing with, as Dr. Lee would call us, such special students. So we did what we had to do, what we learned to do. We got creative. We plotted and tested different times that were peak reward hours, drew attention to ourselves as we crossed the street, and even went back and forth repeatedly until we finally got the cookie we felt we deserved. Eventually, the safety guard vanished nearly completely either because we'd all learned our lesson and become good citizens, or because they were all out of cookies. Though we may never know the answer, we can glean from the experience some key insights into the defining characteristics of Grady students. We think analytically. We strategize carefully and assess varying perspectives so that we're as thorough and accurate in our communications as possible. We adapt. We tailor our efforts to maximize effectiveness without compromising our core values and tenets. Finally, and most importantly, we're incredibly determined and goal-minded. We aren't afraid to try and fail if it means getting it right eventually. To the faculty and staff who shaped us into the skillful professionals we've become, thank you for pushing us past the bounds of what we thought we could achieve. If you had told me four years ago that I would be writing a 30-page communication audit or laying out an entire book in InDesign, I probably would have dropped out to pursue a life of plasma donating or paid psychology research studies. But somehow we made it, thanks not only to your patience and willingness to walk us through problems, but also to your faith in us and your sometimes firm, always correct insistence that we can accomplish and overcome what once seemed impossible. Please join me in giving a round of applause to these selfless folks who have expertly guided us to this point. To the family and friends who have been helping us achieve this milestone since long before we ever began the journey, thank you for your constant support. Through decisions about where to even go to college, to changes in major, to more changes in major, your unconditional encouragement and dedication to steering us in the right direction has not gone unnoticed or unappreciated. Let's give a round of applause to our most devoted fan base. And to my fellow graduates, I urge you to carry your abilities and tenacity with you as we move into the real, real world. The experience and knowledge we've received while at Grady can guide us through even the most unlikely scenarios if we know how to correctly apply it. 
We share memories of Grady, of UGA, of those sweet safety reward cookies that transcend any differences among us and will serve as the foundation for an instant connection if we cross paths in the future. Spoiler alert, we will. Grady grads are everywhere. Despite our varying career goals and aspirations, we are united in an educational experience that has instilled in us not only the tools to succeed in our respective paths, but a core background in functioning as driven, perceptive, and ethical professionals in a broad communications field that is changing more rapidly now than ever. With this in mind, as well as with the support of our families, friends, and Grady behind us, we can face life post-graduation with the utmost certainty that we can and will overcome even the most daunting challenges. Congratulations and go dogs. <laughs>